the role of identity is of major importance for us. Smartlib is an ad server and an SSP for major European broadcasters, but also for um, premium audio, um, online video, CTV and ATV publishers. And those publishers that are connected to our platform are setting up complex campaigns and comprehensive portfolios. So that brings a lot of complexity actually. So the, the signal loss that this industry is facing um, affects us um, significantly because we are not able to identify users reliably across different portfolios and also across different devices. So and we have to remember that identity is super important and when it comes to advertising it ties into so many different aspects. Identity is important to onboard valuable first party data sets of publishers. It's also important to onboard external data sets from retail media for example. Also identity, identity provides the backbone of cross device um, solutions. Identity is important for measurement, for unique user counting but also for attribution measurement when it comes to bring the receipts to the table that advertising works effectively, like uh, measuring engagement, also measuring exposure, and of course, and I think that is the most important part, identity is the backbone of frequency capping. Frequency capping also um, is built up on identity and it's so important to kind of steer net, net reach and gross reach and plan campaigns effectively, but we, what we also have to have in mind is that frequency does also tie into the question of sustainability, because if we don't manage to frequency cap effectively, we are exposing the same users with the exact same ads over and over again and that leads to big amounts of media waste and it's not unsustainable. So how does SmartClip manage identity in its operations? So what we're actually seeing is that there's more and more identifiers coming up with the problems that we're having in identifying user reliably. So um, there is um, probabilistic identifiers, there's deterministic identifiers, there's IDs on a household level, there's IDs on a user level, um, there is um, those identifiers come with different scale, with different quality, with different persistence, but also um, with different capabilities to recognize users across different sites and also across different devices. So what we do at SmartLib is that we support multiple IDs for activation and we do not merge and match those identifiers. We actually orchestrate and manage them via levels and via hierarchies. And that gives us a chance to build features based on identity that allow for the use of very explicit identity types, but also to go a little bit broader and combine different identity types to come up with solutions that cover and provide bigger reach with um, taking multiple identity types into account at the same point in time. Privacy is super important. I mean, it's the law. Um, we are a European company, but also it's the right thing to do. And what we are experiencing is that privacy is also getting more and more important for the broadcasters that are using our platform and also for the users. And what the broadcasters and the publishers are figuring out is that the relationship that the user and the broadcaster has, or the user and the publisher, whatever content provider that is, is basically one of the most important essence that they hold. So you have to, you have to take the preferences of the user into account and build your products around it. It has to be reflected in the application advertising products of the at sales houses but also in the tech products that are underneath it. So what we basically do is that we support a big array of contextual targeting solutions like making it really easy to um, ingest contextual data and to make it available for targeting. Um, we also support um, IB um, seller defined audiences for example as a standardized solution but another trend that I'm seeing when it comes to ID based targeting solutions actually is that there's also solutions that um, minimize user tracking that rely on behavioral data and then connect it with offline data like currency panel data or also like um, market research data to just refrain from intrusive user tracking for certain data points. Um, that is also a very, very interesting development. And also um, we of course have a set of privacy products in place, privacy products that basically mean that the publisher or the, the, the partner who's using our product can kind of control what data is shared downstream with ad tech partners and vendors. So that can be done on the supply side of the platform on an inventory level, but also on a campaign level when it comes to setting up direct campaigns or also when it comes to um, setting up RTB deals. So um, this is a strong feature and we see that more and more because it allows us to also monetize opt-out traffic in a very privacy safe way. And I actually think that if you take privacy seriously and if you do not just see it as a liability um, because it also reflects what we believe in and our values you can build products around that that really drive competitive edge and that also allow for extra monetization.